in this video let me consider one numerical on overlap and save method find the output y of n of the filter whose impulse response is h of n is equal to 1 2 and the input signal to the filter is x of n using overlap save method use only five point circular convolution approach so here the sequence x of n and h of n is given we have to find the output of the filter so here the length of sequence x of n is represented as ls which is equal to 12 as it is having 12 samples the length of h of n is represented as m which is equal to 2 now with the help of this and here also said that 5 point circular convolution approach it means n is equal to 5 with the help of this we have to calculate L which is equal to n minus m plus 1 that is n is 5 minus 2 plus 1 which is equal to so here L is equal to 4 in overlap and save method we have to divide x of n into different sub blocks such that each sub block consists of 5 samples so let x1 of n is my first sub block which can be represented as it consists of m minus 1 zeros that is here m is equal to 2 so m minus 1 that is 1 so it should consist of 1 0 followed by l samples of x of n so here l is equal to 4 we have to take 4 samples of x of n that is 1 2 3 4 so let me write that that is 1 4 3 and 2 so this is the first sub block that is x1 of n which is having total 5 samples now to write x2 of n that is another sub block this sub block consists of m of last m minus 1 samples of x x1 of n here m is equal to 2 last m minus 1 that is last one sample of x1 of n so here last sample is 2 so 2 should be written here followed by l samples of next samples of x of n so next four samples are this one this one this one and this one now let me write that that is 7 4 minus 7 minus 7 so this is x2 of n here also we have five samples next divide into another sub block that is x3 of n this x3 of n is having last m minus 1 samples of x2 of n that is last m minus 1 means m is only 1 here that 2 m minus 1 is 1 so minus 7 followed by next to 4 samples of x of n next 4 samples are this one this one this one and this one that is minus 1 3 4 3 so now the next block is x4 of n it consists of m minus 1 last m minus 1 samples of x3 of n that is 3 so now we can see that all the samples of x of n is over so we have to consider here as four zeros now we have to rewrite h of n such that the length of h of n should made equal to 5 by adding l minus 1 zeros that is we have h of n is equal to 1 2 so l is 4 we have to add l minus 1 zeros that is 3 zeros we have to add 0 0 now length of h of n is also equal to 5 so now we have to perform the circular convolution between x1 of n h of n x2 of n h of n x3 of n h of n and x4 of n h of n let me calculate y1 of n y1 of n let it be x1 of n circular convolution with h of n where n is equal to 5 so i will solve this using matrix method solving using matrix method because it will be simple so we have five samples y1 of 0 y1 of 1 y1 of 2 y1 of 3 y1 of 4 we have x1 of n 
which is 0 1 4 3 2 that should be written vertically 0 1 4 3 2 now write the same sequence in reverse order that is 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 so already 0 is there you have to stop here so now reprint this 0 here 2 here this 3 here and this is 4 here this should be continued here it is 1 0 2 3 we have 4 1 0 2 we have 3 4 1 0 and here we should write the h of n sequence that is 1 to all zeros 1 2 0 0 0 which is equal to now perform multiplication between these two matrices that is 0 into 1 is 0 plus 4 rest all are zeros i will not write that similarly 1 into 1 is 1 plus 0 rest all are zeros 4 into 1 is 4 plus 2 rest all are zeros we have 3 into 1 3 plus 8 2 into 1 2 plus 6 plus 0 0 0 let me calculate that therefore we have y1 of n is 4 1 6 11 8 now let me calculate y2 of n which is circular convolution between x2 of n and h of n that is y2 of 0 y2 of 1 2 3 4 we have x2 of n x2 of n is 2 7 4 minus 7 minus 7 2 7 4 minus 7 minus 7 now write the same sequence in reverse order that is minus 7 minus 7 4 7 minus 7 minus 7 4 7 shift this 2 here this one here this one here and this is here continue the same thing 2 minus 7 minus 7 4 7 2 minus 7 minus 7 4 7 2 now let me write the h of n sequence that is 1 2 rest all are zeros so let me simplify this 2 into 1 is 2 minus 14 rest all will be 0 i won't write that 7 into 1 is 7 plus 4 then 4 into 1 is 4 plus 14 next minus 7 plus 8 minus 7 minus 14 so simplifying this i will get it is minus 12 it is 11 18 1 minus 21 so this is y2 of n sequence now let me write y3 of n sequence y3 of n is equal to x3 of n h of n so that is y3 of 0 y3 of 1 y3 of 2 y3 of 3 we have y3 of 4 is equal to we have x3 of n sequence that is minus 7 minus 1 3 4 3 minus 7 minus 1 3 4 3 now write the same in reverse order that is 3 3 4 3 3 4 3 minus 1 now shift it is here 3 4 3 minus 1 minus 7 3 4 3 minus 1 minus 7 3 4 3 minus 1 minus 7 the h of n sequence is 1 2 all are zeros 
so let me multiply these two matrices so we have minus 7 plus 6 rest all are zeros minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 minus 14 next we have 3 minus 2 next 4 plus 6 next 3 plus 8 so simplifying this i can write minus 1 minus 15 1 10 11 now let me perform y4 of n y4 of n is equal to x4 of n circular convolution with h of n that is y4 of 0 y4 of 1 y4 of 2 y4 of 3 y4 of 4 is equal to v how let me write x4 of n sequence which is 3 all zeros 3 0 0 0 0 now write zeros in this one in reverse order 0 0 0 0 so here it is z3 0 0 0 here it is 0 3 0 0 0 0 3 0 0 0 0 3 let me write h of n that is 1 2 rest all are zeros which is equal to that is 3 into 1 is 3 rest all are zeros here it is 0 into 1 is 0 plus 6 next it is 0 next it is 0 next it is 0 which is equal to we have 3 6 all are zeros so this is y4 of n so now let me write all outputs here y1 of n is equal to we have 4 1 6 11 8 4 1 6 11 8 y2 of n is equal to we have minus 12 11 18 minus 12 11 18 1 minus 21 1 minus 21 let me write y3 of n is equal to we have minus 1 minus 15 minus 1 minus 15 1 10 11 1 10 11 and we have y4 of n is equal to 3 6 0 0 0 now let me write the output sequence that is final output sequence y of n means that is y of n is equal to so in overlap and save method we have to discard first m minus 1 samples here m value is 2 so m minus 1 is 1 so first m minus 1 samples discard this one discard this one discard this one and discard this one write the remaining samples as it is that is 1 6 11 18 1 6 11 8 next we have 11 8 11 18 1 minus 21 then minus 15 1 10 minus 15 1 10 11 then we have 6 so next we have zeros those can be discarded so this is the final output sequence y of n thank you for watching